The Animation Matching Suite is a code plugin for the Unreal Engine that is built to provide a set of tools allowing you to easily set up distance matching and pose matching within your animation blueprints. On screen, I show a very simple and incomplete locomotion system that is making use of my nodes. The start, loop, stop, and pivot states use the nodes provided in this plugin. When the magenta debug spheres appear, that indicates pose matching has occurred on that frame. I haven't implemented a timer to make the debug spheres disappear. In this setup, I don't use any sync markers. I rely on pose matching to sync animations, and I rely on distance matching to provide responsive and realistic animation playback. This plugin centers around three animation nodes. The first and most fundamental node is the pose grabber node. This node is responsible for caching the current character pose each frame. Without this node, anything related to pose matching in this plugin will not work. This node is easily set up and should be done so near the end of the animation graph. We select the bones we want to match. I've chosen the feet and hand bones. The second node is the blend space player matching node, which provides the capability to distance and or pose match blend space assets. Let's take a look at the details pane. I will minimize most of the details common to the standard blend space player so we can focus on the new functionality. Matching type. There are four settings for this enum. No matching. The blend space player will act as a standard blend space player. Pose matching. The blend space player will perform a pose match upon node initialization and optionally upon a blend space asset change. Distance match. The blend space player will perform distance matching where the playtime is driven by an input distance. Pose and distance matching. The blend space player will perform a pose match upon a node initialization and optionally upon a blend space asset change, and then it will perform distance matching following the pose match. Sample rate. The sample resolution. This is the number of samples taken per second of the authored animation. These pose samples are what will be used in the pose match algorithm to find the minimum cost pose. Should match velocity. By default, only bone positions are used when searching for the proper matching pose. If this option is set to true, both the bone positions and velocities will be used when searching for the matching pose. Position and velocity are given equal weights, but I may add an option in the future to allow you to modify the weights. Use only highest weighted sample for pose match. Within blend space assets, multiple sequence assets are placed, each one being considered as a blend sample. If this option is selected and set as true, only the highest weighted blend sample will be considered while determining the match pose. If this option is false, all relevant blend samples will be considered, which is less performant, but usually provides a better output. Matching distance, the input distance to some marker. Distance curve name, the name of the distance curve that must be present on all animations you want to use distance matching with. Play rate clamp, the minimum and maximum allowable play rate while distance matching. If tuned properly, this can prevent some of the unrealistically rapid movements that can occur when distance matching. Advanced time naturally. This determines whether the blend space player should advance time as if it were playing normally, that is, without distance matching. This is useful, for example, during the stop state after the distance marker has been reached, where the animation would otherwise freeze. The Lyra starter game uses this approach. Negate distance value. If true, this negates the matching distance value if the value is positive. Otherwise, this bool has no effect. Use only highest weighted sample for distance matching. As mentioned for the pose matching case, if this option is true, only the highest weighted blend sample within the blend space asset is used when driving the blend space player with distance matching. This is more performant, but may produce less aesthetically pleasing results. Should smooth time following pose match. This is only available if the matching type is set to pose and distance match. This bool determines whether smoothing should occur after a pose match, which may be useful because the pose match time may differ greatly from the following frame's distance matched time. Without smoothing, there could be a snap as the animation jumps to the distance matched time. Smoothing alpha, a value between zero and one, where zero is no smoothing and one is maximum smoothing. Start distance, the initial matching distance to use when initializing. This is not considered during a pose match. If a blend space player node that uses distance matching is being blended into, setting the start distance to a non-zero value can help in preventing accelerated play rate during the blending process. For most cases, however, the setting is fine being left alone at its default value of zero. Should inertially blend upon blend space change. This indicates whether inertialization should be requested when the blend space asset being fed into the node changes. Inertial blend time. The blend time to use during inertialization. Blend profile. The set of per bone scales that tweak the weights of specific bones when inertialization is requested. If no profile is selected, the default will be chosen by the inertialization node. 
show debug shapes, pose matching. This determines whether debug shapes will be drawn on screen. Debug level. There are two levels. The first one is show bone positions, and this draws debug spheres at the match bone positions. The second option is show bone positions and velocities. This draws debug spheres and velocity arrows at the match bone positions. Position draw scale, the value by which to scale the radius of the debug sphere centered on the bone position. Velocity draw scale, the value by which to scale the debug arrow corresponding to the normalized velocity of the bone. The third node is the sequence player matching node. The sequence player node has all the relevant options the blend space player node has, so I will not spend time going through them here. If you want to review the details yourself, you can find a link to the documentation in the description below. This plugin also provides custom blueprint functions, some of which allow you to do the same type of pose and distance matching using the native blend space and sequence asset player nodes. These can be set up in functions that are bound to standard asset players as demonstrated in Epic's Lyra starter game.